First, I would like to take a moment to thank the essential workers for enabling all of us around the globe to stay safe and healthy and keeping the infrastructure available to enable all of us here to host this virtual event. It is an honor for me to give the opening keynote at the Virtual Open Compute Project Global Summit. Intel has helped drive OCP since the very beginning as a founding member. Together, we're solving some problems of power efficiency at scale, storage, and workload acceleration. We need to continue the path forward towards full solutions, solving customer problems, and scaling community efforts for enabling this growth of workloads at the edge through the cloud. OCP started the Open for All journey nine years ago, and the progress has been impressive. The amount of hardware that has been deployed is over three and a half billion dollars with a 40% year over year growth rate. And we're expecting it to grow to eleven and a half billion dollars by 2023. We track this user deployment because it's an indication of whether or not we are solving end user problems and helping the community drive towards hardware that is easier to use and more efficient. Together, as a community, we are driving the OCP strategy and building the future based on these few key tenets that you see. Delivering efficient, vanity-free data center systems, driving to hyperscale usability and security for all, focusing on sustainability with things like power, cooling, reliability, and efficiency. I'm gonna walk through each of these three key areas and talk about what Intel is doing in the community to help get us to that next level. First, I'd like to start with efficient data center systems and our new next generation open platforms. To address the agility needed to meet the end user needs for understanding and gaining insight from the massive amounts of data being generated, we are announcing a cloud optimized OCP platform in collaboration with Facebook for our upcoming third generation Intel Xeon scalable processor, codenamed Cooper Lake, and will be available in the very near future. And it builds upon our built-in AI acceleration technologies. There is further enhancements that extend to deep learning training and can boost performance by up to 60%. Beyond that, we are actively engaged in initiatives like the Confidential Computing Foundation and we are working with Microsoft on the next generation Azure Compute Blade on our upcoming future Xeon Scalable Processor, which will have new hardware level uh, enhanced security. We're also working with Microsoft and Facebook as they develop new OCP Cloud SSD specifications. These two key partners have had a lot of success already with NVMe SSD due to the robust ecosystem, improved reliability relative to hard disk drives and the essential features that are allowing them to deploy and manage flash at hyperscale. Together, we are optimizing compute and storage at scale. In the connectivity space, Intel is committed to open networking, defining common standards and supporting the community and the ecosystem. We recently acquired Barefoot Networks, which has a history of supporting software for open networking in the cloud, also known as Sonic. And the switch abstraction interface and is contributing to the ecosystem with a growing set of deployments and platforms based on the Tofino series P4 programmable ASICs. An example is the OCP accepted stored as platform, which runs on Sonic. Intel is taking the barefoot involvement with Sonic to the next level with investment for increased testing and hardening. The Intel Key Insight Partnership with this new ultra high density test platform is just one example of enabling broader industry Sonic validation. You're gonna hear a lot more about Sonic and the importance to the community in the next keynote. We are seeing growth driven by the cloudification of the network edge. Considering recent events that we're all living in right now, 
distributed connected compute is becoming even more essential. And as a community, we are looking at how to address these unique challenges and opportunities. The OCP Edge Working Group is progressing. Last year, we announced an open edge chassis. This year, I'm very happy to share the open slide concepts for this chassis, as you can see on this image. Next, let's take a look at the second pillar, usability and security for all. For usability at scale, a common manageability interface and baseline capabilities across the OCP platforms is key. In the first row of the slide, OCP has stated its direction to use Redfish as the platform manageability interface. And last year, we shared that we were adding Redfish interface support and OCP profile support to OpenBMC. This year, I am happy to announce that we will contribute to OpenBMC, the Intel Node Manager, which helps manage rack power by setting power limits down at the node level. In the second row of the slide, you can see Open, oh, excuse me, OCP Run BMC. This is an open approach to out-of-band management. And last year, we had prototype cards that we shared with you. This year, we have real product. Specifically for Intel, I'm announcing our contributions to OCP of a Run BMC card with FPGA hardware-based root of trust. Security remains at the forefront of data center management. Last year, we announced that we were tearing up with Microsoft, teaming up with Microsoft, Facebook, and other partners on Project Cerebus, an open platform for a security root of trust. We're continuing industry collaboration around a common platform for security root of trust. And we'll be contributing the Intel Platform Firmware Resilience, also known as PFR, to OCP. There will be many options available to the community for platform security root of trust, including the Run BMC card with the Intel FPGA and PFR, and the Microsoft Sec Secure Control Module, which can use Cerebus, PFR, or other root of trust solutions. In addition, as announced by Rocky, I am pleased to support the partnership between the OCP Security Project and the Cloud Security Summit on Platform Root of Trust, Supply, and Scalability. In the area of improving overall data center manageability at scale, I'd like to share what we're doing around the open telemetry in collaboration with Splunk. Intel has developed an open BMC plugin that consists of a Redfish-based API with a streaming plugin that is capable of sending telemetry from the BMC. That plugin is available on OpenBMC. With Splunk, we have pushed this hardware data for the first time into a broad markets analytics solution. This new solution for infrastructure reliability helps to anticipate server failures in hyperscale environments. Why does this even matter? Well, we see customers are demanding more data from their infrastructure so that they can improve their understanding about performance, reliability, security, and to better meet the SLAs of their customers. This level of telemetry data will provide better visibility into the infrastructure that in turn is going to help them to lower TCO and drive overall competitive advantage. And finally, I'd like to end on a topic that is foundational, the future of open hardware, software, and solutions and innovations from cloud to edge, they are all going to depend on sustainability. As a community, we've made progress in the areas around power usage effectiveness, computational efficiency, utilization, power scaling, cooling, power efficiency. We've been at this a long time, but there are still significant opportunities to improve data center sustainability, including areas like RAS, data analytics, and lifecycle support. With OCP, we want to be the best partner and collaborator for you and the community. So please help us understand how and what it takes to get there. I encourage you to take a moment and visit us during the summit 
at the other virtual sessions, as well as the OCP Experience Center booth. Thank you very much for your time and stay safe.